Well, welcome to the next portion of the straight line depreciation methods course. And in this section, we're going to be calculating accumulated depreciation. So by now you should be comfortable calculating depreciation expense, and we're going to use that to look at the accumulated depreciation. So what exactly is accumulated depreciation? Well, it's the sum of all the depreciation expense that's been recorded to a particular asset over its life. This helps us calculate the net, net book value, which is the third lecture, um, our next one coming up. And so we use the accumulated depreciation as a total of all the depreciation expense taken since we've placed that asset in service. We've used the example of a car a few times. So if you think about it in that term, once the car has started to be driven or taken off of the lot, the accumulated depreciation balance will start to increase as each year's depreciation expense is recorded. And so to calculate the accumulated depreciation balance, all you have to do is sum the depreciation expense recorded to the particular asset from the beginning of its life and forward. So once we start driving that car, let's say we've been driving it for two years, we will take two years of depreciation and we'll add the first year plus the second year. That will give us the accumulated depreciation balance as of year two. Now keep in mind sometimes in problems there may be a partial year. So if an asset's only been in service for six months as an example, you would only take half a year of depreciation expense. And so the accumulated depreciation balance would reflect a one and one half years worth of depreciation expense. And we'll cover those in our examples later in the course. But keep in mind that sometimes you will see partial year problems and you need to account for those accordingly. So if you recall our practice example from the first lecture, we're using the same fact pattern here. So the calculation of depreciation expense is exactly the same as we went over in the first lecture. Here that we've calculated the depreciation expense for this equipment at 1000 per year. And so the question is asking us, what is the accumulated depreciation balance after two years? So we've placed this asset in service and two years has passed. It's as simple as taking the annual depreciation expense of $1,000 times two years, since the asset's been in service for two years. Two times 1,000 is $2,000. Really, accumulated depreciation is nothing more than a sum of the prior depreciation expenses totaled together. So for our second example, we had the vehicle for $20,000 the salvage value and here the question is saying what is the accumulated depreciation balance after three years well you guessed it we calculated depreciation expense per year and we've taken three years worth two thousand dollars times three years gives us a accumulated depreciation balance of six thousand dollars it really is as simple as that don't make it any more complicated than it needs to be accumulated depreciation is nothing more than the total of the depreciation expense taken from the start of the asset's life to the point in time which you want to measure it at. It could be one year, two years, three years, so on. And then in this case, we just took three years. Previous example, we took two years. That's all there is to it. Don't overthink it. So that's really it about accumulated depreciation. And by now, you've covered the two uh, focal points of the course, depreciation expense under the straight line method, and calculating accumulated depreciation. In our next lecture, we're going to take the accumulated depreciation and find the net book value of an asset at a given point of time. So I look forward to seeing you there.